This is a woolen rug and it's woven. Have a look at that. There are brown threads going vertically and white threads going across, in and out, in and out. That scarf is also woven, so is my shirt, so is yours and so are the curtains. Lots of things are woven, usually threads, nylon, cotton, wool and so on. But you can weave other things as well. Did you know you can weave paper? Have a look at this. As long as you get long thin strips of paper, such as streamers, you can weave them. Here I've started with some pink strips going vertically and the yellow strips are going horizontally. You must remember, of course, that if one goes under, over, under, over, under, the next one must go over, under, over, under, over. You'll end up with a pattern of squares like that. And you can use it for a cover of a book or a picture on the wall, anything you like. You can also weave together pictures. How on earth can you weave pictures? I'm glad you asked. Start by collecting a couple of pictures from a magazine. Try and make sure that they are quite different in both subject matter and colour. And then turn one of them sideways and place it over the other picture and then hold them together with your fingers and with a pair of scissors cut them into strips. Strips of about a centimetre wide. Don't go all the way through, just almost to the other edge of the paper. Lots and lots of strips. You'll end up with two pictures cut into strips like this. So I have two here that I've already done. There we are. You can see that one of them is a Christmas cake and the one underneath is a polar bear. He's horizontal, the other one's vertical. I've taped that one down with a piece of sticky tape on the left-hand side, the other one at the bottom. All I need to do now is to start weaving. And to do that, all I must do is to remember that the first strip of red will go under the first strip of the polar bear, over the second strip, then it must go under the third strip, over the fourth strip, The two pictures are completely woven together. All you need is a cardboard frame to mask the edges and you can hang it on the wall of the bedroom and your friends will wonder what on earth the two pictures were originally. Here's the final question for you. Can you now work out how to take a sheet of plastic and some stick-on labels and to make a mask that will cover up one of the pictures and just show the other one and then allow you to move the mask slightly and show you the second picture? Can you do that? I want to know. Thank you.